another brazen day-like shooting, taking the country's murder count up another notch. This time, though, the gunman becomes a victim in a twisted turn of events. Arthur Seely has the details in this report tonight. A 49-year-old father of 17 children is making an impassioned plea to criminals tonight after his 24-year-old son managed to narrowly escape death Monday afternoon in a shooting incident which left another man dead. Come on, I plead out know, to these young men to try and settle their differences, different man. It's kind of hard when you have to put in all this work for your children and hope for your children to see their life short. That interview was taped just moments after the man who didn't wish to show his face on camera had driven his car through police crime scene tape onto an active scene. Both my cameraman and I dashing to safety to avoid the speeding vehicle. He jumped out of his car in a fit of rage and concern. Once we were able to speak with him, let him know the situation. If you notice, he calmed down very, very quietly and quickly without any incident. Well, here's what police say happened Monday afternoon. An orange-colored Nissan March with three males pulled up to a residence just south of Ficus Street on Pigeon Plum Road. Police say two males exited the vehicle firing shots at a male resident of that home, but luckily the intended target escaped. But here's the plot twist. It is believed that one of the gunmen accidentally shot his would-be partner in crime. During the time that they were firing shots at the in intended target, they accidentally shot one of the males who came with them to this residence. The intended target, along with two other males, are in police custody, assisting them with their investigation. The culprits currently remain at large. The deceased's grandmother identified the victim as 24-year-old Ken Lewis Jr. He leaves behind a little girl. These children don't listen. Was he a person to be involved in questionable activities that would have landed him in something like this today? When you say he doesn't mm -hmm. listen, what do you mean by that? Well, you talk to your children, they don't listen, but company. As for the emotionally shaken father of the intended target. I still in shock. I still try to hold my little, my little 10 year old, my little grandchildren. I'm happy to see that they, they're alive. Especially after the home was littered with bullets. I could see at least five bullet holes that went straight through the front door. Why don't we face each other face to face than the sneak and kill and churn? Because that's what's going to happen today. Huh? A bunch of children in this house, that's what's going to happen today. This is his cry to government. Please try some way to try to get these young men under something that makes sense. Because they're idle. Meantime, police maintain. Parents, turn your children in, bring them in, let us resolve these issues. Theo Seeley, Eyewitness News.